Hello everyone, I am Osima Viswal. Today I will discuss about meaning of money and function of money. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel Economic Tech. First, I will discuss about meaning of money. Money is in fact is the greatest invention of man. Since money represents generalized purchasing power, it has been the object of man's desires throughout the ages. Okay? What is money? Money has been defined differently by different economic definition are too extensive while others are too narrow. For example, workers definition is too wide. In workers work, money is what money does. According to this definition, we can include all those things in money which perform the function of money. Thus, money does not comprise metallic coins and currency notes only. It also includes checks, fundies, bills of exchange, etc. because they also perform the function of money. On the other hand, Robertson's definition of money is rather narrow. According to Robertson, money is a commodity which is used to denote anything which is widely accepted in payment for goods or in discharge of other business obligation. Okay, then I will discuss about function of money. Various function of money can be classified into three broad groups. First, primary functions which include the medium of exchange and measure of value. B, secondary function which includes standard of default payment, store of value and transfer of value. And C, contingent functions, okay, which include distribution of national income, maximization of satisfaction, basis of credit system, etc. These functions have been explained below. First, medium of exchange. The most important function of money is to serve as a medium of exchange or as a means of payment. To be a successful medium of exchange, money must be commonly accepted by people in exchange for goods and services. Okay. Second function, measure of value. Money serves as a common measure of value in terms of which the value of all goods and services is measured and expressed. Okay. Third, standard of default payments. When money is generally accepted as a medium of exchange and a unit of value, it naturally becomes the unit in terms of which default or future payments are stated. Okay. Thus, money not only helps for a transaction from concern as a medium of exchange but facilitates credit transaction. Then for store of value, money being a unit of value and a generally acceptable means of payment provides a liquid store of value because it is so easy to spend and easy to store. Five function is transfer of value. Money also function as a means of transferring value. From money, value can be easily and quickly transferred from one place to another because money is acceptable everywhere and to all. Okay? Then six is distribution of national income. Money facilitates the division of national income between people. Total output of the country is jointly produced by a number of people as workers, land owners, capitalists and entrepreneurs and in turn will have to be distributed among them. Seven, maximization of satisfaction. Money helps consumers and producers to maximize their benefit. A consumer maximizes his satisfaction by equating the prices of each commodity. Okay. Eight, basis of credit system. Credit plays an important role 
in the modern economic system and money constitutes the basis of credit okay nine liquidity to wealth money imparts liquidity to various forms of wealth when a person holds wealth in the form of money he makes it liquid in fact all forms of wealth that is land machinery stocks stores etc can be converted into money in short the main functions of money can be summed up in following for money is a matter of function for a medium a major a standard a stock as this does not complete the picture we may add transferability more then i will discuss about static and dynamic function of money static function in the static function money acts as a passive or technical tools to entrepreneur a smooth working of the economic system okay in static function money acts as a passive or technical tools to ensure a smooth working of the economic system it does not have a causative influence on economic activities the traditional function of money medium of exchange measure of value standard of default payments and store of value all are the static or technical functions of money for using arts one or more technical function that is money as a medium of price mechanism then second dynamic function the dynamic function are those by which money actively influences the economic system through the impacts on price level interest rate volume of production distribution of wealth and income etc dynamic function can be classified into four categories first effect on price level second effect on interest rate third effect on utilization of resources for effect on government expenditure first i will discuss about effect on price level money has great influence on economic activity through a rise or fall in the price level according to one explanation inflation or a general rise in price level caused by an increase in the amount of money in circulation and deflation or a general fall in price level is due to decrease in money supply okay second effect on interest rate money has a great influence on the economic system by changing interest rates changes in money supply is partially responsible for the influence okay for the fluctuation in the interest rates third effect on utilization of resources proper application of monetary system can bring about an efficient and full utilization of natural and human resources of the country and of its technological process fourth effect on government expenditure the monetary system has also influenced the expenditure of the modern government okay these are the static and dynamic functions thanks for watching